Solution Ford is more than just vehicles. It's an experience. Like any good dealership, we carry a wide variety of vehicles to suit your needs and budget. Come test out the new Ford F-150, Mustang, or any other vehicles on our lot that catches your eye. Come into Solution Ford today, and our experienced sales team will take good care of you. Welcome to another segment of FNTV 360. I'm your host, Regan Jacobs. And I'm Sergio Pavone. And uh, today we're going to be discussing a pretty hot topic that just happened uh, last week, actually. That's right. There was a boycott that was launched in August of 2016 by the Mohawk Council of Gahnawage against Shadigay yep. in response to a lawsuit that a lawsuit, the uh, yep. city of Shadigay, along with the MRC of Roussillon, uh, lodged against the government of Quebec mm -hmm. uh, to put pressure on them because they weren't uh, happy with the uh, the land transfer without them getting something out of it. So right. there's all a question of compensation. It wasn't always very clearly explained and we had covered the story and now uh, about a year after we did the story mm -hmm. now we uh, we come to learn that uh, Joe Norton announced that the council withdraws the, uh, the boycott. Yeah, so what he said in the press release was along the lines that he felt that the point was made, they're mm -hmm. going to continue the fight, yep. um, that uh, Nathalie Simon, which is the mayor of Chateauguay, is no longer the prefect mm -hmm. uh, on the uh, council, the... Um, the MRC uh, board. Yeah. It's, the MRC is like a uh, regroupment of uh, municipalities that manage together certain aspects of development, urbanization and stuff like that, yeah. garbage uh, disposal and so on. So they basically together uh, launched that lawsuit and mm -hmm. Uh, since she's no longer chair, Mr. Norton said that there was some type of opening. Right. Uh, I did try to contact the office. They said they would get back to me. Uh, this is Friday. We are now Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday that's right. So and you contacted the Mohawk Council of Gunawage. Yeah. To no. Get a comment from Norton. No, no comment back. No response. No response. You can't contacted Natalie Simon's office. No response. No response. <laughs> <laughs> so. In today's media society, it's very odd for people not to respond, especially because there's so many ways to, to do it. So do you think that they just don't want to comment on you know, the situation? I'm, and I'm talking specifically about the mayor from Chateauguay. Well, I think everybody, like uh, I contacted the uh, m and uh, from Chateauguay. Well, they tried everything they could to get Mr. Kelly, who's the Minister of Provincial uh, Native Affairs, online. But I mean, the minister's pretty busy, so. But mm -hmm. they did make efforts to get us in contact. The uh, the La Prairie Member of Parliament, the federal level, uh, we're going to be speaking to him today at four o'clock. Mm -hmm. The MRC uh, called me back. Uh, it's the communications agent. She told me, "No can do. We have no." comment so I think people fear that if they say something and this is my theory uh, I, I have a feeling that anybody who says more in this file may actually aggravate a situation that mm -hmm. seems to be going in the right direction but it's quite odd that if the Mohawks through their council are doing a positive move that there should be a positive response on yeah. the other end. Uh, I have a feeling the MP, uh, Mr. Poisson, is going to come with that positive uh, attitude and, and response today a little later on but I mean let's see what that gives but yeah, mm -hmm. I'm really surprised that we only get like one person one at once. Now one of the things that I think is important to mention is the fact that the lawsuit itself was you know, a lot of people from Gahnawage obviously felt that it was like preposterous just simply because those are part of senior lands. That's right. Um, there, it's like, what do we have to negotiate? What, do, what is it that you don't understand? I think that there was a lot of uh, political uh, decision making that just didn't make sense in terms of, you know, not including us in those talks, not even consulting with us. I know that she has said that there was some discussion with the former Grand Chief, Mike DeLille, um, about you know the the situation but he came back and said well it was a letter that was sent and you know they there was all of this um, you know why would we answer that because this is under uh, 
land claim here in Ganawage. So I think when Joe Norton got into office, well, he was making a point. He was taking a stand saying, listen, if this is how you want to play, if this is how it's going to go, then we're going to boycott you. So obviously he had encouraged community residents here in Ganawage to do just that. But it was Mohawk Council and all of the people that they do business with, so, you know, all of their vendors, That's right. that they boycotted against. And I know that some people definitely felt that pinch. Well, it was it was felt, and uh, I mean, coming from Shattagi myself, I've been speaking to a lot of people about the uh, the issue since it started, and yeah, the, the people feel it. I mean, the Chamber of Commerce also was contacted, and uh, they said they would get back to me, but mm -hmm. uh, again, we're two days later, two and a half days later, and still no no comment from them. I think everybody is a little edgy, and they're a little frightened about what they may or may not say, and how it will create any reaction. But bottom line. Uh, you know, the the essential argument is mm -hmm. the federal government, based on historical documents, has demonstrated clearly that there was wrongdoing and wrong dealing. It was misadministered by the priests. Yeah. And that this land was effectively Mohawk territory. And that it, some of the parts, a lot of the parts of the territory were, were given away or sold away to non-natives. And that's not that's not even disputed by the federal government. Mm -hmm. The problem now is the Quebec government agrees with the federal government to give back some lands to the Mohawks. And here we have municipalities saying, no, 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 not unless we get something out of it. It's like, hey, if you want to settle issues with the province, there's the municipal affairs office for that. You don't have to take native people again as hostages. And this is yeah. throughout history. You always have the non-natives taking natives uh, issues as hostages to get their files promoted. Yeah. It's, it's like weird. And I, when thought she, I thought her decision was a uh, was little crazy and how the other mayors went along with it too simply because you know highway 30 oh well we would like to be consulted on mm -hmm. what the Mohawks are gonna do with that land well let's be frank you it's, know a lot uh, of people were like mind your own business we're gonna do what we're gonna do and Mohawks that, and, and the the warrior flag sells a lot of uh, papers and each time and every time there's an issue with First Nations and particularly here in this area with the Mohawks uh, politicians have a tendency of moving the wrong way because the wrong way for them politically is the right way. Uh, you know, anytime you give something, give is a big word, but mm -hmm. anytime uh, native groups gain something from their fights, it's always perceived as something that's been given away from the, gov from the government's perspective. Otherwise, also perceived as the citizens themselves giving this away. Mm -hmm. and, and that's where politicians go. They defend, they're like, I was against this because it's yeah. the best It's the best policy yeah. because then you're on the side of the ignorant people who don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. So this is the whole problem here, I think, communications wise. Yeah, I think that some people here in Ganawage for sure felt like, uh, you know, why is Joe Norton doing this? I know there was some discussion around his council table was just the best approach, but if you know Joe Norton and you know the history of, of his politics and how he functions, I think that he has always been that chief, grand chief if you will, that does make a statement in everything that he does. So mm -hmm. I think that when he said that we were going to boycott, it was like, listen up, we're, we're not here to play around. Exactly. You know? Well, and if you're going to be the mayor that's going to try to lead this charge that's and right. pull in the surrounding communities, then we're going after you. And that was a bold statement. I mean, I think it could have gone either way, but I don't think it was meant to have, you know, this lasting effect. But it was made. It was meant to have that impact. Yeah, that I think this is just the beginning. You know. I think he hit a point there, <laughs> and I mean, any any group of people who want to make a stand for something, they're going to ruffle feathers. Mm -hmm. If you look at, you know, the Trudeau, the father Trudeau, when he decided not to follow suit with the Americans on Cuba and actually go there with his own canoe, <laughs> I, th that sends a message and he ruffled a lot of feathers. Yeah. Uh, when you look at, you know, uh, René Lévesque, speaking on the perspective of the more francophone, francophone people yeah. from Quebec, they can understand this. Uh, if René Lévesque hadn't stood up 
you know, and hadn't said the things and hadn't done the things that he did, he hadn't, he wouldn't have uh, ruffled any feathers either. So, yeah, when you take a stand, you're going to ruffle feathers. And if you well, don't, I think that's the whole point. <laughs> and if you don't, then, yeah. you know. So, where do we go from here? Joe Norton, in the, while in the press release, the Law Council of Gunawage said that they're going to keep uh, challenging this lawsuit and hopefully. Um, things are going to be settled at some point, but if you notice, uh, there's signage going up on Highway 30 in our in our in Ganawage's mind. That land is already ours; it's not going anywhere, and, yeah, I, and I, I doubt that you know it's going to go away in terms of us having to consult. Uh, I think the logistic uh, or the logic be behind the what I think is going to happen and what we've heard through the branches is that. No matter what happens, they're going to go ahead with development uh, according to what they consider being essential, they being yeah. the council. And I think that's the way to go at this point because uh, otherwise if they stand around waiting, they're going to be waiting for another century. <laughs> exactly. So that's it. That's it on the uh, boycott for, again, Shadagi uh, from Gunawage. It's right. officially over. Yeah. So um, we're your hosts, we're FNT, FNTV 360. We're taping here in Gahnawage today and a uh, beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yeah, a little bit of sun, a little bit of rain. But yeah, a little nice. bit of sunshine mixed with hurricane. That's there him. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thanks for staying with us. If you want to have us discuss anything, please reach out to us on our Facebook, inbox us, and you can also find us on Facebook personally. That's right. So thanks for watching, Ona. See you soon.